We are talking with R&B superstar Kim and his beautiful wife and soulmate Erica. I want to talk about this concept of the rescue. Yeah. You said that at the concert. What did? How did Erica rescue you, and from what? She rescued me from myself. Mm. Tell you me know, more. Um, you know, I had I had come as I, I came to a place that, that I realized that I had come as far as I was going to come by myself. Mm. You, know, you know, all the limitation that was that was in my life at that time was because I had not truly allowed myself to be vulnerable with another human being in the way that 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 marriage requires you to be. Um, I had not been in in full uh, communion and relationship with my children until we had children together, mm -hmm. you know, and in the house with the kids and understanding what that what that 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 day to day grind of fatherhood and 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 being a husband and understanding like what all of that is and the work that is that is involved in doing it and the reward the most challenging and rewarding thing that I've ever done with my life it was the only thing mm. the only thing that was missing. Wow, Erica the biggest lesson you've learned about yourself mm -hmm. as a wife and a mother and a woman in this experience, in this season of your life? The biggest experience. Mm -hmm. Or the biggest thing that you've learned just even about yourself? Um, that I was chosen for this and I'm equipped with everything mm -hmm. that God had for me to do in this relationship. Um, and even when times when I don't feel like that is what it is, it, it, He shows up and shows me that I'm right where I'm supposed to be. So knowing that no matter how perfect I feel like I need to be or you know is this is where I'm supposed to be mm -hmm. yeah yeah because I imagine there's a lot of pressure a lot of pressure a lot of pressure uh, I know your faith is important to both of you the first yeah. night is at watch night service that speaks volumes mm -hmm. yeah. tell me about how uh, you lean into God in your relationship and your advice to others about why that's important for believers if that's your, your frame of mind mm -hmm. I you know <laughs> I wouldn't I be here if it wasn't for God. Right. I don't yeah. know how you do marriage without mm -hmm. putting God in it. You know, we put Jesus in from the top, you know, and that is and that is that is that is the focal point. Yeah. You know, I'm in love with my wife, but this is also what we're doing is ministry. It's ministry for our kids. It's an assignment. Um, it's an assignment. We're in we're in we're on assignment with each other, you yeah. know. Um, it's not just about, you know, romance and and, and hey girl. Although right. I got, hey, although hey, I got a hey, hey girl. girl. Hey girl. I've got to ask you quickly, this is the last minute we have. When I think about the lyrics to the songs that you wrote years before yeah. you met in 2016. 2015. You, uh, I, is it just me or were you ultimately writing to Erica and did you hear him singing to you um, when you listened to Kim years ago? Kim those first. songs, I, I do see those songs as being prayers to bring mm. the love. You know, I've been singing about the love. I've been singing about the love that I have in my life today. Yeah. Erica? I would, I would definitely say I, now, of course, because like the whole fan thing we were talking about earlier, the ticket, like I didn't understand what it was until I started listening to his music, and he is that. He's the epitome of love, so, mm. yeah. She bought the ticket. She wasn't a fan. I wasn't I, a fan. I, Look. Right. <laughs> that speaks volumes, yeah. and so does your love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So does the fact that you have just, you've never even let go of each other this whole interview. My heart is full, and I thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. For Thank having you. Us. True models Thank of you. love. Thank you.